Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited to be sharing with you my Christmas Decorate With Me Part 1 for 2020 and revealing my Nordic boho Christmas theme. Maybe a little bit farmhouse in there as well. I just kind of whipped it together this year so I hope you find all of the motivation for your Christmas decor this year with me in today's video. All right, you guys, like I said, today I am sharing my 2020 Christmas Decorate with me. I'm so excited to be sharing all of the things today. This is only a part one. I have so much left to share with you guys, and I'm so glad that I did it this way this year for you guys, too, is because then I can kind of break this up and reveal it in little sections, and then it also gives me time to soak in all of the ideas, maybe get some like fresh garland and things like that in. But before we get any further, I wanted to say that today's video is in collaboration with King of Christmas. Um, they were so kind enough to send me their Prince seven and a half foot flocked pre-lit Christmas tree. This Christmas tree is a little bit smaller than the one that I have used in the years past. And I have had a lot of questions in regards to my other Christmas tree um, that I flocked last year. A lot of you guys have come over from the flocked Christmas tree video and that one still works great. I have, the lights just went out on it, the flocking is in beautiful condition, but I have just sent that over to my sister. I needed something a little bit smaller for this space and King of Christmas had the most perfect option for me. So anyways, I will have King of Christmas linked down below for you guys along with my discount code. I have been very impressed with this Christmas tree so far. These gloves definitely saved my hands and my arms when it came to fluffing. For those of you with artificial Christmas trees, you know that fluffing the tree can really like tear up your hands and your arms, especially your arms when it is a flock tree. Sometimes I even get a little bit of a rash from it. And these like gloves absolutely saved my hands. So highly recommend you guys go check out King of Christmas. Again, link down below for you guys in the description box. All right, so the next thing that I do after I put together my Christmas tree is I will start going through my Christmas decor 
In my plan with me, I kind of talked about how I keep a couple of themes on hand at all times. This park is a little messy. My main floor becomes a disaster. As you guys can see, I've got some plaid in there. Um, I've got some more boho pieces in there, which is ultimately why I decided to do a Nordic boho feel. I thought that it went together nicely. And then I also, I just like the sparkle. So it's like a glam Nordic boho style. I don't really know what to call it. If you guys have a better idea of what to call this theme leave it in the description box down below what you guys think I should name this kind of theme I was going for more of a Nordic theme and then I kind of just transformed into something entirely different but I love it I'm loving how the theme came together this year and I have so many more things in mind I'm just limited by what comes out as far as like fresh garlands and things like that so this is what I have put together so far. Um, the basket wall is a new addition as well and same with the shiplap. I have talked about the shiplap here on my channel a little bit, the vertical shiplap and the horizontal shiplap. It is all a part of a big renovation that we are doing here in the house. I'm trying to incorporate more warmer colors. Now with this garland too, I thought that possibly the green would go. It did not because the green on the tree was much more of a cooler green. So I need to get back to the store and find a green that matches, but I just added a bunch of dried florals into this year's theme and lots of like natural, neutral colors, and I'm really loving how it's coming together so far. Leave it in the comments down below what you guys think of this year's theme. I am, like I said, I'm personally loving it. I think that it gives just the most like coziest, warmest vibe. I'm excited to share parts two, three, and four to this video. There are so many things that I have found this year that I am super pumped to share with you guys. So anyways, I am going to let you guys enjoy some of the decorating here. If you have questions as to where anything is from, leave it in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, as far as the barn quilt sign that is on the right hand side of like my entertainment wall, I made that. Um, and I will be doing a DIY over on the m and Rustics channel in the next couple of days for you guys. So as soon as that DIY is up, I will have it linked right here for you. Um, but I made that myself to kind of match the colors in the room. So I'm going to let you guys enjoy the decorating here. And again, if you have any questions for me as to where something is from, leave it in the comments down below and I would be happy to get back to you.
All right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for this part one to the Christmas 2020 Decorate With Me series. I hope you enjoyed this first part to the series. I am so excited for all of the Christmas things this year. In fact, today I'm going to be sitting down and recording some Christmas planning as far as baking and recipes and all of the good things. So. If you guys are new here, I would love if you considered subscribing to my channel. I do lots of decorating, mom motivation, all of the real hot messness here on my channel. And if you guys enjoyed this video, share it on your socials, share it with your friends. And if you try your own hand at some of these decorations, tag me over on Instagram. That is one of my most favorite things is seeing you guys cook and do my recipes and projects and decorations in your own homes. And I will see you guys tomorrow for a little bit more of some Christmas inspiration for planning your cooking and your baking and all of the good things that we're all so so excited about now all right guys I'll see you tomorrow bye